Um, hello? Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am no, I? No, no, Heather, it's fine. I mean, it couldn't be much weirder, let's be fair. Mm. Okay, so... This is a point in time where you can kind of get a ghoul for yourself. That's essentially what we did. We ghouled her by giving her her blood. We found that out from Nox earlier in the game. Now, what we probably didn't realise until we've talked to other people is that ghouls can sometimes get very, very attached. Like we found out with Patty, once they don't get their blood, they start getting a little bit weird and getting a little bit needy. I'm guessing maybe the longer they're doing it, the less needy they get, because Mercurio isn't... he's alright, you know? Anyway, we can basically tell her to go away, or we can have her as a pet kind of slash ghoul thing going on. We're going to keep her for now, uh, because it gives us more options later on, and it's just kind of fun. Though, if we were being a nice person, we'd probably let her go. Anyway, I do not see death over you anymore. Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything, just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Mm. Oh, we got a ring, that's nice. Oh, I always wanted a pet, something to cradle before I sleep. We could basically, uh, we can tell her that you do not want this, you know, you should go. There's a lot of options to get rid of her now, but we're not going to do that, because we're going to be nasty. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Good. Go to our home, but no one can know about you, my pet. Uh, I know where you live. Uh oh. I checked there first. That's creepy. I'll wait for you at your place. Still creepy. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. That's sexually creepy. You fill the empty hole where my guts used to be. Until later, my pet. And then she sort of jiggles her way off. Goodbye. Oh wait, maybe she can go get the bus or something? I don't know. Either way, that was the decision we made. Now that does have some kind of far-reaching consequences, which is interesting. Again, you really don't have to do that. Oh, you. Yes, you. Let hey, me up. Hey, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? He is impatient for me. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. He's a little different. You know, he's... He's not a big fan of, like, summer getaways. Why, thank you, Beefy Scarecrow. Beefy Scarecrow. <laughs> that's a way cooler name. I'm gonna kill you that from now on. Ding dong. Man, I hope you're not, like, interrupting the important meeting. Or... Oh, hey! You're still there for where I checked you earlier. That's fantastic. I've said all I need to for now. <laughs> Look at this. They're gonna walk through him, aren't they? Yeah. Now that's just rude, Max. You don't just walk through people. Also, totally blanking me, Max, is also super rude. Just FYI. We had a connection, you and I, Max. A connection. You know, you don't have to continue staying there, by the way, if you are not so keen on the whole standing thing. Never mind. Hello. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Roger. The decks were washed with the blood of semen. Um, semen. <laughs> And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Uh, bloody hands crept out from within and made a wonderful pattern all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I kind of wondered about them all this time. Those were the primogen this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. He's my dude. Yeah. You probably will be under a table or a desk or something. Or, you know, doing kooky experiments. <laughs> nah, that's just silly. 
Mm, if it pleases you. Again, you can basically say, send in the ghouls, my blood is too valuable. And he just will not have that, by the way. If you ever do pick that option, you just tell, he just forces you to do it anyway, which is quite funny, but we kind of still want to burn him up. Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thanks, man. I'm on it. Speak of Grout. Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Hmm. My body moves now. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Uh, thanks. Oh. Oh. And to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Ooh, thanks, man. Yes, my pet gets to go there, too. I mean, um, not that I have a ghoul. I wouldn't have a ghoul, that's just silly. I'm going now, bye. Not that I don't have a ghoul, by the way, so please don't come hunting me. And I'm really sorry about jumping on your head, it's nothing personal. <laughs> don't fall over, man. You, uh, you want, you want a hand? You seem to, uh, seem to be keep tripping there, that's terrible. Don't, don't fall over, man, it's embarrassing. See you later, beefy scarecrow. I am, uh, going to my new haven. You can't come, though. There's Heather's there, and it's already kind of strangely sexual. If I get a dude back in there as well, it's just gonna look really iffy. Okay, so, we have the Skyland Apartments now, which is great. Uh, because there's two reasons. Uh, one, it's nice to have a haven so close, you can check your emails and do the other bits and bobs you need to do. Not that we have any new emails at this point in time, but we shouldn't do. And... Oh, people just disappearing randomly on the streets. That's that's okay. Gunshots, also okay. Street crime. I love it. Anyway, uh, the other thing we can get... Interesting. Just wanted there's a back door. The other thing we can get is a occult item. Now, I've known this occult item to bug out, though, so we'll see if it actually works, but hey. Uh, so... Yeah, neat. So we want number four. Upwards. At least I got a fabulous hat. That's the important. Ding. Okay. This place is mine. There isn't a lot here, but the important things that we do want are... Weirdly, no Heather. I gained an unknown item. Yeah, it's bugged out. Balls. Uh, you need a research skill of at least four to find out what this is. Unfortunately, we have a research skill of five. And I'm, I need to research how to fix that. Also, my ghoul isn't here. That's disappointing. I was going to show you. I wonder why she isn't here. That's strange. Oh. Oh, she's having going to the toilet. I'm sorry. I should have really checked the toilet. You humans need to do that kind of thing, right? Howdy. While you were gone, I tapped my foot over 3,000 times. I don't know why I counted. Huh. Um, I have the same habit. Don't, don't worry about it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Mm. I'm famished. Let me lap the sweet juices from your neck. I've never done that before. But for you, if you want, I guess I could try it. Is this like a sex thing? Uh... It's kind of like a sex thing for vampires. By the way, I'm a vampire. Hey, uh... If your naivety, naivety was blood, I would never go hungry. No, I'm the undead. That makes sense. Does it? It all Does makes it really? sense. Those feelings that something's there in the dark? It wasn't my imagination. It's not crazy at all. Well, you're a little bit crazy, but that's probably my fault in all fairness. You're starting to understand, my ghoul. I'm so proud of you. Yay! Seriously, well done. That's great. It's like you've pulled the shades off my mind's window. I can see now. There's a whole world out there. It's mind-blowing. Um, that this is definitely my fault, I gotta be honest. Mm. Uh, and it only gets better, by the way. Um, by that I make you basically a vampire crack addict. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Does this seem obsessive to anybody else? Oh, it's uh, adoration running through your veins. It's so cute. What can I do to show my appreciation? Mm. Open your wallet. That means she gives you money. Bleed for me. Obvious. Tell me a story about yourself is also interesting. 
It's all a blur of nonsense. I'd rather forget the past, the ignorance, than just follow your trail of headcrumbs into Wonderland. Well, Alice, uh, yeah, I've, I've def this is definitely my fault. Wherever the lariat hole leads, you'll be right beside me. <laughs> oh yeah, so we have an option here, which is also, I don't know if I showed you this last time. Your skin, change it. Okay. Mm. Spin your cocoon, little caterpillar. I want to see a butterfly later. So, uh, we don't need to bleed, we don't bleed her, uh, we don't need to drain her right now. Um, so, if we leave and come back, she changes her clothes. So next time we pop up, you'll get to see. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the set. And again, sorry about the noise. Um, you have to let me know if that's really, really bad. I, I'm i a bit of... I'm unsure how to fix it right now. I'm a bit worried about this, truthfully. Um, I may have to buy a new microphone and test it. Brr. Yeah. If it's super bad, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe finish Vampire up and then stop. I don't know if that's an option as well. Mm, depends how bad it is, I suppose. It's irritating. Either way, thank you for watching the set of Vampire. I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, until next time.